Hey guys, could the Fantastic Four be in Ant-Man 3? Let's talk about it. This is Rob Liefeld. Kai Review is going down. So we here we have, um, we got this article from We Got This Covered saying that the Fantastic Four rumored to be in Ant-Man 3. So this could be or make their debut in Ant-Man 3. Now, uh, they're not coming this. They got a source here that's coming from uh, this guy called Mike Sutton. Um, who just has a, a Facebook page and stuff. This, their source just sends it to his Facebook page, and I can't really find his original post where he talks about Ant-Man and the Fantastic Four. But um, I'm just going to go off their, their their article that they have here, saying that Mikey Sutton is claiming that Marvel's first family will make their latest, uh, their debut in Ant-Man 3. He doesn't specify in what capacity, however, so they could just drop him in a post credit scene. Um, so we have... We'll have to wait and see. Either way, Sutton also shares that John Kuczynski and Emily Blunt are the studio's top choice for Reed, Richards, and Sue Storm. I don't know. I feel like that's a bit... Uh, I don't know if they'd want to go with that. I wouldn't want to go with Emily Blunt and John Kuczynski just because, to me, in my, in my opinion, I would think they're just too old. I just would want to have the Fantastic Four be a lot younger. Now that they have you know an established universe, they don't need any names for these characters, and it's the Fantastic Four. They've been around for so long. Yes, they've had a lot of bad taste uh, in the uh, with... Um, with the uh, Mar with you know their movies before and stuff, and they're not really doing too well. But if Marvel does it properly and stuff, they don't need names for this. They've been proven that they can do it. So I think it's best for them to just grab unknown names, unknown uh, people to play these roles. That way, they can have them sign on for like ten movies, uh, you know, for their contract. Sign on for you know fifteen movies, just like Sebastian Stan did when he first started on as um, as Bucky. He signed like an incredibly long uh, contract, and now he has the the win the uh, Disney Plus show. So I think this could be an interesting to see as to where things kind of go. I think the idea of of them popping up in Ant Man three. Seems slightly possible, but in my opinion, it would most likely only be a cameo type thing. Maybe a, a post-credit cameo, because if the second Ant-Man, you know, dived a lot, and then both Ant-Mans had dived a lot into the quantum realm, and the second one really div d dived into that, and we went back into it in Endgame, and the quantum realm, and all that stuff, um, we might see Hank Pym in the third one, maybe exploring a different dimension. You know, he's done the quantum realm, he's looked at that, now they know, you know, they've done time travel, you know, that realm is all done with right maybe there's another realm he could be looking at maybe he's trying to look into the negative zone which is a fantastic four uh you know it would have been locked up with the fantastic four rights now they can use this with the fantastic four so they could be have ant-man 3 take place entirely with dealing with the negative zone and playing around with that and negative stuff and at the end of it you could have that uh end credit scene or a teaser that teases that the fantastic four are in there maybe the end of and in post credit scene where the Fantastic Four steps out or one of them steps out of the negative zone right and that's where we find them you know or that, that's, I think that could be there especially with Peyton Reed um, saying that he did pitch a 60s style um, uh, you know Fantastic Four movie with that and that would be really cool they could go back in time and say that yeah you know maybe he knew this guy Reed Richards or some flashbacks at some point uh, you know teasing Reed Richards and then at the end we get post-credit scene. I feel like we might get that post-credit scene and then you could do the Fantastic Four movie being in the 60s where, you know, they do their stuff, they get stuck in the negative zone and, you know, after the events of Ant-Man 3, Hank Pym going back in there, they're allowed, they're able to come to, to step through uh, and come back to, to Earth and they haven't aged since the 60s and they're, you know, out of time and all that stuff uh, and that could be how they kind of decide to do with their powers. So this could be quite interesting to see as to where things kind of go. Um, we'll have to just wait and see. At this point, it's just a rumor because it's just some guy saying that I can't even find the original posting uh, talking about this where the Mike uh, Sutton did. So you can, if you want to check it out, I'll post a link to this article so you can read this full article. Um, but the source just sends it really to his Facebook page and I can't really find that post specifically about this. But uh, I don't know. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go. But I just, I don't want John Krasinski. And yeah, I think it'd be okay. He'd be pretty good and so would she. I just would like to see them being a little bit younger so that, uh, or just an unknown so that they can sign on a 10 movie contract deal. Because even though, you know, uh, John Krasinski is just starting to get up there he's starting to build a career and he's not going to be a super expensive you know uh, he's not on it's not it's not like he's not affordable for marvel um i just don't see him signing a 10 movie contract deal um and especially not emily blunt she's been in a lot of things she's going to be in she has a movie with the rock coming up uh and she's been in mary poppin so she those things might get sequels in the jungle book so if those all get sequels and stuff then she might not need to uh she doesn't need to sign on for a 10 movie contract deal whereas an unknown would easily sign on right a, a 10 movie contract deal and i think that's what i would like to see so we'll have to wait and see as to where things kind of go with this at this point we'd have to take it as a grain of salt because it's too way too early on um you know they're 
probably not anywhere near setting up anything like this they might just be listening to different pitch ideas and this just might be one of the many pitches that they're getting by anyone and anyone who wants to you know who they'll listen to right type thing um so we'll just have to wait and see as to where things go because i feel like it's a bit too early on and ant-man doesn't even have a is not slated to have a movie anytime soon there is a bunch of unlisted uh, marvel studios type dates out there but None of them have been confirmed to be Ant-Man yet, so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go. But I don't see them doing more than maybe maybe a cameo, um, but most likely just an end credit scene, uh, something like that. But I don't see them being you know full on in the movie, you know co-starring in the movie with him at all. That would just be too much. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. And uh, if you want to read the full article, I'll have a link in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, um, as I was editing this video, I found this other article here. Uh, this article popped up from uh, Cosmic Book News. It's saying that Fantasy Four rumored to be in Ant Man Three. John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, uh, favorites uh, for the roles and stuff. So this is quite interesting. They're talking here about you know rumored to be in Ant Man Three. Um, and all that stuff and the rumor comes from mike sutton um also talking about how there's been a rumor for a wolverine versus hulk movie which that could be interesting there um the rumor said talks about how their origin could be tweaked in here so this is quite interesting here saying that that according to the rumors the ff origin will also be tweaked because they will get their powers while on a journey to the negative zone so this is quite interesting kind of like the theory i had for uh, for the other video and stuff, the other article. And this is quite interesting, saying that the, and the negative zone may be part of a pocket dimension within the quantum realm. So that could be interesting, that they're leading to, um, to Ant-Man 3. So that could be how maybe they're in the quantum realm, they find out about, their, they're discovering it, and they find out about the negative zone, and that's when we get a post credit scene or a mid credit scene uh, where the Fantastic Four comes in, or we get a tease to the Fantastic Four, and then the end credit scene is straight up them, you know, type thing, or the type thing, there's straight up them coming through um, after they've left the door open type thing. So that could be quite interesting dealing with that, and that way uh, Peyton Reed could still want to do that 60s style movie he wants to do if he wants to do that. Um, we'll just have to wait and see where things kind of go with this. Um, I, right now it's all early, early um uh, rumors since i feel like the fantastic four is so far away ant-man 3 has been confirmed yeah it's going to happen but it's not been slated it wasn't announced as part of uh, part of phase four so most likely will probably be part of phase five um and none of those things have been announced so we'll probably be seeing and i'm thinking later phase five um but we'll have to just wait and see as to where things kind of go with this movie so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below and have a link to both articles in the in the description and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace we're here for Kyle Reviewed on YouTube. The very best Kyle Reviewed channel on all the YouTube Kyle Reviewed channels. You got that? You got that right? Thank you for watching Kyle Reviewed. Deadpool and I thought it was fantastic. You need to like, you need to subscribe. You know how it's done? Like, subscribe. Right, DP? All right, Kyle Reviewed. Cool channel.